name is Manhan. This is uh, Api. So today we're going to be talking about the early life of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Rabbi Shalli Sadri wa Yassirli Amri Amri wa Hlul Ukmatan Lali Sani Yafkuhu Qawli. Rabbi Nazdaima. So the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born in Makkah. When? He was born in the year of the elephant. Api, can you tell us about the year of the elephant? Okay, so the year of the elephant is... Basically, it's a miracle which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent when the governor of Yemen, Ablaha, came to destroy the Kaaba. So the miracle was when the bur bur basically Ablaha got an army of elephants and soldiers to attack Makkah because he was jealous of the, of the Kaaba. So he made a big army of elephants and people and he went to Makkah to attack it. So when they were really close to Makkah, birds came and dropped stones on them. There was two in their claws and one in their beak. So that um, that that uh, crushed all the soldiers, and that was the that was the incident of the year. Okay. So that incident incident was kind of like a welcome to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born in that same year. Now his family tree. A simplified version of his family tree. So it starts, from, so it's very simplified, it's not the full one. There's many other people in the family tree, but I'm going to tell you a simple one of three people. So first his great-grandfather, Umro or Hashim, his great-grandfather, then Abdul Muttalib, his grandfather, and then Abdullah, his father. So just keep in mind it's not a full family tree. There are many, many other people in this. It is simple to keep it just so you can understand. Now his children. He had three sons and four daughters. His three sons were Qasim, Abdullah, and Ibrahim. And Ibrahim. The four daughters were Rukaya, Umm Kulthum, Zainab, and Fatima. His guardians. What is a guardian? Guardians are basically a parental figure. So, his father passed away before he was born, and um, his mother took care of him from when he was six for two years, and then she passed away. So then his grandfather took took him into his care for when he was eight. When he was eight, yeah. and then when he turned twenty, he was under the. Well, until 20. Until 20, he was under the care of his uncle Zubair. Yeah. And then another uncle. Yeah. And then from, from 22 onwards, Abu Talib took care of him, his other uncle. Yeah. And now his job. He was a shepherd and a businessman. When he was 12 years old, he helped his uncle with his job. And then, when he was 23 years old, he started his own job. His and own business. His own business. Yeah. And then, on, when he was 25 years old, he married Hadija. She was older than the Prophet and she was also a businessman or entrepreneur. Man or woman? Business woman okay. or entrepreneur. Yeah. So, um, now I'm just going to summarize his childhood a little bit because we can talk about that. So, in his childhood, he was raised by Halima Radhanha, his foster mother. Um, there was this incident that happened when he was a child. He was playing with the other kids and then Angel Jibreel came. The other kids ran away but Prophet Muhammad was still there. Jibreel alayhi salam took his heart, he cut off the he cut off the pieces that were the shaitan parts. He washed it zabza and he put it back. So that incident led to Halima Radhanha giving Prophet Muhammad back to his mother. So then a little while later they went to Medina where on where when they came back his mother passed away. So that was most a little bit of a summary of his childhood. So at one point they went to Medina to visit their cousins. They went with Ab Abdul Muttalib, Prophet Muhammad's grandfather. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu mother Amina and a servant called Umayman or Barakal. Yeah. So they went to Medina to visit their cousins and uh, when they came back, uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu mother passed away in the middle of the desert. 
So um, then he, he was an orphan. So then he then he then um, he lost. Then he didn't have both his parents. So then he was. So Prophet Muhammad was in the tribe of Quraysh and he was from the clan of Hashmi which means he was from the family of Hashim. So what does Hashim mean? Hashim means basically when uh, a lot, um, Prophet Muhammad's great grandfather he used to tear the bread and he would put it in soup and then he'd give it to the poor. So that's why his nickname was Hashmi. And he was from that family. And the Prophet spent 52 years in Mecca and 6 years in Medina. Okay, so that is the end of this video. I hope you found it informative. And I hope we helped you greatly with this video. So, the next video is going to be about um, the events before Prophet. For example, for example, Hajri Aswad. So I hope to see you all there and I hope you will find that the video helpful too. So subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaikum everyone.